Hello guys, in this video, I am going to talk about image segmentation by the k-means algorithm. So, I have, uh, whatever I am going to discuss today, I have put the code, the MATLAB code link in the description below, you can check that. Also, I am going to upload a video uh, on uh, the MATLAB implementation of this particular algorithm. So, that will be in the series of computer vision with MATLAB. So, you can also check that out. So let's get started. Let's see what the algorithm is. <clears throat> so let's uh, let us first see what is image segmentation. So given an input image like this, so this is an input image. What I have to do is I want to segment this image. That is, I want to make different uh, colors. So uh, different segments, basically not colors, so different segments of the different colors. So suppose I want to. Uh, extract this yellow color uh, i want to know which pixels are yellow so uh, if you actually see then you will see that there are uh, different shades of yellow over here there is some uh, darker shade a little lighter shade uh, like that so there may be different shades of yellow with uh, with respect to the different uh, light that uh, is uh, it is reflecting so there are different shades of yellow that you can see so i want to know uh, or I want to extract only this this particular circle out so that can be done by image segmentation so you can see in this output image uh, this uh, whole circle of yellow as I have uh, taken out so by this uh, you can see that uh, now uh, all the pixels in this particular uh, yellow color are the same so what happens is now you can extract so this has a particular number and you can know exactly which pixels are yellow one even number for all the yellow pixels similarly one even number for all the uh, green pixels so say uh, the number is say 23 so actually this is in RGB space so there will be a red component green component and a blue component because this is a color image so uh, a particular vector is assigned to this and the same vector is repeated for wherever the pixels are yellow so like that you can uh, make a, a segmented image and you can use this for different purposes so you can understand which is the foreground the background so you can say that this color is the background th this is the foreground so different things are done using image segmentation so let us see how can we use this particular uh, how can we uh, create this particular image from given this input image by k means so before uh, going to the algorithm let us see some notations so if you uh, see a pixel over here in this particular color image so any pixel over here will have a red component a green component and a blue component so any pixel in this image will have this rgb values so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack all these pixels in a matrix X which uh, which has uh, so no, the rows the number N capital N is number of pixels so say this is a 10 cross 10 image suppose so there will be N will be 100 so there will be 100 rows and 3 columns that is for each pixel it's our uh, red value it's green value it's blue value so for the first pixel if this is first pixel so r1 is the first pixel's red value green value and blue value respectively so like this i can make a matrix x over here and uh, first let us visualize how does this matrix x looks when i plot this matrix so let us see how th will that look okay so here i have plotted this 3d uh, 3d vector so all these uh, i am taking all the rows as a vector and I have plotted them in this 3d space so you can see this is the r axis the g axis and the b axis so i have plotted that and for all the pixels in this image i have plotted this thing so you can see that there are clusters formed over here so you can see that there is a cluster over here this particular cluster so you can see for this cluster the b value is a little high the red value is a little low also if you see the green value is also relatively low so you can see the green value is also relatively low so this you can uh, say that this this is for all those pixels that are blue in color so these pixels that are over here 
so for them uh, for these are that pixel in this space this blue pixels are over here in this space so similarly you can see different color clusters are there over there here there is a color cluster over here a color cluster or a color cluster here like this so our task is now to basically um, separate these color clusters from each other so i want uh, all of these clusters should be in a one group all these clusters should be in one group all these in one group and all these in one group so that is the main thing that uh, k means can do for us so this is uh, the um, this is the way in the way in which we can segment a particular image so that is x so uh, uh, here because the dimension was only 3 so i could uh, visualize it to you because we live in a 3d space so it is easy to visualize a 3d uh, vector so that is what uh, is x so now uh, what we actually will do is we will put a we will find out the mean of each cluster so if you see uh, this is the cluster the mean will lie somewhere over here similarly for this cluster the mean will lie somewhere here for this cluster will lie somewhere here for this cluster say here for this cluster say here so these are the different means and in the output image we will just uh, so we'll allocate uh, different pixels that are in that cluster to that mean and then in the output image we are just going to uh, put these pixel values so for all the pixels in this cluster the pixel value will be this for all the pixels in this cluster the pixel value will be this so that will bring out that evenity the uniformity in between the different uh, colors so that is what we are going to do so uh, that's the main algorithm and let us see what the algorithm is so before that uh, what you can do is there are two things here if you see i have not um, um, not included the xy location so here i am just seeing the color uh, information only uh, so here if you see um, this particular color will uh, the clusters formed by this color this yellow color and this yellow color will be the same so both of these will be in the same cluster same group because they are yellow color but what else you can do is you can also put location information x y so if you put location information also then what will happen is you will get a different segment for this color yellow and a different segment for this yellow because they are far apart so if you want uh, the physical uh, location also different that is you want to segment this blue uh, different as this blue uh, this yellow different as ye this yellow because they are far apart then you can use this particular format so here now instead of considering a three a three dimensional vector you will have to consider a five dimensional vector r1 g1 b1 and its x and y coordinates so if there is a pixel over here you will also have to take uh, you will have to take the rgb value as well as its x and y location and then do the same algorithm that i'm going to show now also uh, you will have to give the input k now k is how many clusters do you want to detect or how many means do you want so if you see this particular uh, case so here there are a lot of means uh, there, there are a lot of clusters so uh, the data or the algorithm cannot understand how many clusters are there because actually all of these are numbers so for a human it is easy to understand that this is a cluster and this is a cluster but the uh, data the algorithm cannot uh, do it uh, by itself so you have to first give the input k which tells how many uh, which which will tell that the algorithm how many means to detect how many clusters to detect so that is something that you will have to give as an input k so that k will depend on how many colors are there in this particular image so if you uh, see this is one two three four uh, five six uh, say say there are six colors there may be more so let us see so let us take six so for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to assume the value of k to be six 
so we are going to detect six colors uh, in this particular or we'll have six segments in this particular image so let us uh, see what the algorithm is All right so uh, this is the uh, k-means algorithm so uh, first step is to initialize the k-means so now uh, as i said we don't know what are actual location of this means this mean should be in the center of the cluster that is uh, what we what is required but initially we don't know where this means uh, where should we put this means so we can randomly put this means anywhere so that is uh, random initialization so randomly you put uh, so, so given k is equal to 6 suppose so k is something that the input that you'll have to give as an input so uh, now I have given input say k is equal to 6 and you can see uh, I have randomly choose 6 points in this uh, 3D space. So this is a 3D space I have just uh, <clears throat> uh, for now I am just showing the red and the blue. So the actual space is this space. <clears throat> this is the actual space but uh, in order to put it in PPT and uh, to give you a little visualization I am uh, just uh, plotting the red and blue. Uh, to show you something to show you this algorithm that's uh, that's all so the algorithm is very simple so first that you have initialized the means now what you have to do is you have to determine which sample belongs to which cluster so now uh, you have to determine which particular pixel will go with which mean that is what you will have to determine and that's very easy <clears throat> you will just have to see the distance so uh, what you have to do is for every pixel so if i say this pixel uh, over here what you do for this data point basically so uh, for this data point calculate the mean uh, distance with all the means so calculate the distance of this pixel with this mean with this mean with this mean this mean this mean and this mean and then uh, choose the distance or choose the mean which has the minimum distance so if you see uh, this particular pixel should go with this mean because the distance with this mean is the minimum and like this you can do for every pixel over here for every pixel compute the distances uh, with respect to all the means and allot that particular uh, pixel to the mean which is nearest to it so that is uh, this uh, this particular step so when you'll do that you'll get something like this so all these purple colors belong to this mean, this orange colors belong to this mean, the yellow color over here, blue color here. Yeah. So uh, please understand this is uh, the 2D uh, view of a three dimensional uh, plane. Actual uh, view is like this. So uh, this is the 2D view, the actual view looks like this. So if you if you see over here, this, this particular mean is little behind. So this uh, the the third axis is the green axis that you will see so this this mean if you see it corresponds to this mean it is a little behind so because of that you can see some overlap over here so please don't get confused uh, so it is actually a three dimensional space but uh, for uh, explanation purpose i'm going i'm showing it to you in a 2d space right so this is what is uh, what I call as assignment. So every pixel you are assigning it to a particular mean. So now that you have assigned different pixels to different means, what next step is to update the means. So how can you update? So now that say uh, all these orange pixels belong to this mean. So now what you do is just take the average of these uh, data points. That is you, you take the sample mean by this particular formula. So normal mean that you take uh, some uh, so add add all these points upon the total number of points and uh, update the mean so that is this mean will now change so all the means will change uh, re with respect to uh, the so all the means will change basically so that is what we are going to do also you can calculate the cost so what is cost cost tells you uh, how far are you from the actual uh, required solution so uh, a cost over here physical interpretation is like um, say for this mean calculate uh, uh, sum all the distances of the pixels 
that are allocated to this mean so if say this is a pixel so this pixel uh, distance with this mean because it is allocated to this mean so this plus this plus this plus this so for all the violet sum all the distance similarly do it for this uh, this mean and uh, for all the means so you will get one scalar number that will tell you how much you are away from the uh, actual uh, required output so you want to minimize this cost the more less this cost is the better the uh, algorithm uh, the better the segmentation has done the better the clustering has done so that is uh, the cost so this you will uh, this you can use to end to decide when to end the loop so there is a loop that is going to uh, come now so you saw this was the initialization you allotted the uh, pixels to the means and then you update so now uh, i have updated the means i took the average of these pixels and updated this uh, mean over here took the average of these pixels updated the mean took the average updated the mean so that is what we have done over here then again assign so with respect to these new positions again assign the means and then again uh, update assign update so this is the loop that is going to go assign update assign update and like this um, keep uh, doing this until uh, you see that now the means are not moving much so if the means if uh, the previous update was also so if you see this so you can see this mean has uh, moved from year to year so there is a little bit movement so when this movement becomes very less you can stop the uh, for all so when the movement for all the means becomes very less you can stop the algorithm or you can stop stop when the cost has become very less so you can decide a threshold say uh, 100 or 200 so when the cost becomes 100 you can stop or till a certain number of iterations so you can say do this till 10 times 20 times and then you can stop so that is the different stopping criteria that you can use to stop the algorithm so when you uh, see so uh, this is the output after 20 iterations so um, you can see that uh, the means uh, the means have almost uh, uh, come in the center of the clusters so this this cluster uh, has this particular mean so this is one thing that is detected then the, you can say this is a cluster then you can say this is a cluster and this is a cluster and this is a cluster so these are the different clusters that uh, uh, the k-means algorithm has detected and then just uh, make an output image by uh, plotting these center values for the pixels that are allotted and you will get an output uh, that I, uh, an output like uh, this uh, not this All right an output like this so over here i had kept k is equal to 10 uh, but you can um, so you can change the value of k uh, as you want so I, I have put the matlab code in the description below you can play with the code change the values of k uh, and you can also so i have put both with position and without position so you can see the difference between the two and just play with them so uh, that's all for this video Thank you so much for watching.